Good day, dear students. Today, you're going to learn a new lesson in English. Are you excited to learn? I know you are excited. But first, let us offer a prayer of guidance. Let us pray. Our loving and generous God, we praise and thank you for the bountiful blessings you have given us. Thank you for giving us a mind that can know and a heart that can love. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic that had caused a lot of changes in our lives. We are sorry for the times we have failed you. We humbly ask for your forgiveness. Father, help us stay focused on our studies. When learning becomes difficult, grant us the gifts of courage and enthusiasm. Grant us the grace to use our knowledge in making a difference to the lives of the people around us. All this we pray in your mighty name. Amen. And for the reminders, get a paper and a pen. Pay attention as you listen. Participate. Last week, you learned about a variety of strategies in interpersonal communication. And what interpersonal communication is? Interpersonal communication is the process of exchange of information, ideas, and feelings between two or more people through verbal or non-verbal methods. It often includes face-to-face -face exchange of information in a form of voice, facial expressions, body language, and gestures. The level of one's interpersonal communication skills is measured through the effectiveness of transferring messages to others. Presentation of the lesson. Today, our lesson is about WH questions or question words. Our lesson objectives are the following. Number one, identify different WH questions or question words. Number two, distinguish how WH questions are formed. And number three, formulate WH questions. Take a look at this one. Let's create an ad. What do you see in the ad? What information does it provide? Kindly write all the details that you see in this. Afterwards, I will ask you questions regarding it. And then, I expect you to give the correct answers. Okay? You may pause this video while writing. Okay, let us start. I hope you wrote all the details you found in the ad. Before I give the first question, let us read all the details that we can see in the ad. There's the word attention, followed by all registered frontline workers under A4 Priority Group Residence of Florida Blanca. And then, COVID-19 immunization, followed by July 24, 2021. And then, RHU-1 Immunization Area. And then last one is Bring Valid ID and Attestation Letter. Let's start. You have 3 seconds to answer each question. Number 1. Who are included in the COVID-19 immunization? Your time is up. If you answered... All registered frontline workers under A4 Priority Group, Residence of Florida Blanca. Then, you got it right. Very good. Woo! Next, what is the advertisement all about? Your time is up. If you 
transferred COVID-19 immunization? Your answer is correct. Very good. Woo! When will it be held? Your time is up. Yes, July 24, 2021. Nice one. Woo! Where it will be held. Your time is up. Correct again. At RSU 1 Immunization Area. Woo! Next, what to bring or present in the immunization area. Your time is up. Very good. Valid ID and attestation letter. Woo! Now, what did you notice when asking a specific question? What do we add in the sentence to make it interrogative? Yes, you are correct. We add WH questions or question words. And what are question words? These are also known as WH questions and they are formed by inserting WH word in place of the missing information. Also, WH questions focus on a particular part of the sentence. WH questions ask for information and we do not expect a yes or no answer. We usually form WH questions with WH plus an auxiliary verb be, do, or have, plus subject, plus main verb. Or, with WH, plus model verb, plus subject, plus main verb. For example, where do you live? The word where is our question word. Next, the word do is our auxiliary verb. Followed by you is our subject. And the last one, live, is the main verb. Did you get the pattern? If yes, very good. The next example is, Why should Jessa park her car? Why, as the question word, should, as the model verb, Jessa, as the subject, and park, as the main verb. Did you get the next pattern? If yes, you are doing a great job. Do you know other question words? What are these? Could you please give me one example? Yes, you are correct. Who? Next. What? Yes. Where? Very good. When? Nice one. Why? You are correct. Very good. Next. Which is another question word. Whose? Yes, correct. Whom is also a WH word. And how? Yes, it's a question word, although it's not WH word. But... It is included in the question words. Very good! Now, let us identify the question words with meanings and example sentence. The first question word is who and the meaning or it asks for a person. An example sentence is who is that? That's Nancy. Nancy here is the answer, and it's a person. The next question word is where. When you use this word, you are asking for a place. Example, where do you live? In Manila is the answer. Manila here is a place. Next, why. We use this word when we are asking for a reason. Why do you sleep early? The answer here is a reason. Because I've got to get up early. The next question word is when. 
We are asking for a time when we are using when. Example, when do you go to work? At 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning here is a time. Next question word is how. It means manner. Example, how do you go? The answer is by car. It means that a person is using a car when he or she is going. Next word is what. It means that you are asking for an object, idea, thing, or action when you are using this one. Example, what do you do? I teach students. This question is asking for an action. The action in the answer is teach. Next question word is which. We are using which when we are asking for a choice. Example, which one do you prefer? The answer here is the red one. Red means the color preference of the person who was asked. Next word is whose. This question word is asking for a possession. When we say possession, we are asking for the owner of something. Example, whose book is this? So it means you are asking for the owner of the book. That's why the answer is it's Alan's. It means it's Alan's book. Next word is whom. It means that you are asking for object of the verb. When we say object of the verb, usually it is a noun and it comes after the verb. Remember that the object of the verb is not a subject. Example, whom did you meet? I met the manager. The object of the verb is the manager. Next is what kind. When you use what kind, it means that you are asking for a description of something. Example, what kind of music do you like? The answer here is I like quiet songs. Quiet songs is a description. Next is what time. It means you are asking for a time. Example, what time did you come home? The answer is 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock is a time. Next, how many? When we use this, we are asking for a quantity that is countable. Example, how many students are there? There are nine. In this question, the word students is countable. Next, how much? Unlike how many, when we use how much, we are asking for an amount, price, or things that are uncountable. Example, how much did you sell your car? The answer here is a price, 865000 Now, it's your turn to read and understand the remaining question words. You may pause this video while reading. Now, can you give your own example? One example for each question word. Write your examples in your paper. You have 10 minutes to do this task. Did you get all the question words and their meanings? If yes, it is expected that your examples are all correct. Great job! You're doing great! Now that you know how to use these question words, let's have a practice. Supply the missing question word to complete the thought of the sentence. You have to base your answer in the given meaning. 
You have 3 seconds to give your final answer in each item. Number 1. Plank are the aborigines of Mindoro. Your time is up. The given word here is persons. So your answer is who. Very good. Let us read the whole question and let us try to answer it. Who are the aborigines of Mindoro? Do you know who are these people? The aborigines of Mindoro are the Mangyan people. Number 2. Blank is the natural habitat of Philippine Tarsiers. Your time is up. The given meaning here in number 2 is location. So, your answer is where. Very good. Could you please read the whole question? Okay, thank you. And, as an added information, established population of Philippine tertiaries are present primarily in the islands of Samar, Leyte, Bohol, and Mindanao. Next, answer the following in your answer sheet. And I'll give you 5 minutes to complete the activity. Your timer starts now. You may pause this video while answering. Very good! Let's have the next activity. In this activity, you have to identify the function or purpose of each question. Write your answer in your answer sheet. You have 5 minutes to complete this task. You may pause this video while answering. Very good! Let's have the next activity. In this activity, you have to choose the correct question word to get the underlined information as an answer if each sentence will be transformed as a question. You have 3 minutes to complete this activity. You may pause this video while answering. That's great! I hope all your answers are correct. Okay, let us move in the next activity. In this activity, you have to write two questions based on the information presented in the text. Read the text with me. A cell membrane, also called plasma membrane, thin membrane that surrounds every living cell delimiting the cell from the environment around it. Enclosed by the cell membrane are the cell's constituents, often large, water-soluble, highly charged molecules such as proteins, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, and substances involved in cellular metabolism. Outside the cell, in the surrounding water-based environment, are ions, acids, and alkalis that are toxic to the cell, as well as nutrients that the cell must absorb in order to live and grow. Okay, let's have this text as an example. Let us extract two questions out of it. Any one of you who can give or formulate questions from this text? Very good! Great job! And these are the other possible questions. What is the other call for a cell membrane? What are the cell's constituents that are enclosed by a cell membrane? Now, it's your turn to read the text in your Week 6 LAS or Learning Activity Sheet and formulate 5 questions based on the information presented on it. You have 10 minutes to do this. Next activity is you have to formulate one question based on each picture presented. You have 5 minutes to complete this task. You may pause this video while answering. You can also see this activity in your LAS.
Next activity. Formulate five WH questions about the lives of Filipinos. These questions are the ones that make you wonder about your current situation. Write your questions in your answer sheet. An example question in this activity is, Why do most Filipinos believe in a lot of superstitious beliefs? You have 10 minutes to do this. Great job, students! Do you have questions about our lesson for today? If none, let us review it. And what are WH questions again? Very good! WH questions or question words are formed when asking a missing information. And remember to be always polite whoever you are asking. By that, let's end the lesson by this quotation from Sarah Caldwell. Learn everything you can, anytime you can, from anyone you can. There will always come a time when you will be grateful you did. Thank you and have a great day everyone!